This is our year because, because... Because our guys understand about playing with a hard edge at the University of Arizona. This is our year. This is our time. This is our year because of the grind. This is our year because we are dedicated, focused, and our team. This is our year because we're hungry. We're humble and we're hungry. This is our year because we have unfinished business. This is our year at Michigan State because we are the Spartans. This is our year because there is no next year. CBS Sports preseason top 10 presented by Chick-fil-A and starting with Clemson in the 10th position. Direct your uh, Twitter comments at these guys directly, please. <laughs> at number nine, Auburn looking to bounce back from a five loss season. At number eight, Notre Dame started strong but limped to the finish last year. Number seven, USC, powered by the right arm of Cody Kessler. Number six, Michigan State, 11 wins last season. Huge bowl win. At five, Alabama wants back in the national title game. Number four, TCU, going to go as far as Trayvon Boykin can carry them. At three, the Dogs look to take a bite out of the SEC. Number two, it's Baylor looking to unleash the offensive firepower again. And at number one, Ohio State looking to make it back-to-back. -back bats for Urban Meyer and another national title at the beginning uh, of the season and talk about that in a little while now on to the Big 12 and TCU and Baylor were the headliners last year can anyone stop Trayvon Boykin and TCU's potent offense are the pieces in place for Baylor to make the college football playoff this time and will Oklahoma's Samaj P. Ryan have another encore season can Charlie Strong jumpstart the Longhorns offense and will QB Mason Rudolph lead an offensive turnaround for Oklahoma State? Are the old powers going to rise back up, BJ? Yeah, that's interesting. I, I think OU will. Texas still maybe a year away. But you look at this Baylor team, I'm sold on their defense, man. I, it's, I know that offense is high power along with TCU's. Their defense at TCU will get coached up. No dig bumpers, of course, but Gary Patterson knows how to handle that side of the ball. I'm digging Baylor right now. And don't sleep on Texas Tech. Everyone's coming back. The shine is Guns off up. Cliff Kingsbury. He's got to make yeah. something happen this year. The whole team is coming back and Mahomes may be a sleeper for the Heisman at quarterback. Trayvon Boykin at TCU is the guy that I'm on. I think the guy's an electric player. He was a receiver at one point in his time there at TCU. When you can make plays with your legs, you are fits for defense. Baylor's got a great defense coming back and you trust uh, Art Bryles on the offensive side. That should be a shootout. I still think the Oklahoma situation's curious. Mm -hmm. Lincoln Riley coming right. from East Carolina is a passer. He wants to throw the ball. How do you use Samaji Pirine in that offense? I think it's a little bit of square it's peg round Hole. Never sleep on the fighting Bill Snyder. Bill Snyder, Ooh. the sage in, yeah. that, in that league. And Trevor Knight's on the bench now at Oklahoma. And uh, the conference, they put TCU and Baylor Thanksgiving Friday. So that's going to be a big one. Moving All on right, to the Welcome Ten. back one more time. Everybody's got Ohio State on top to start the year. But will the Buckeyes repeat as national champs? Rick, your final they'll four? Be, they'll be in there. They're going to square off against Alabama. Okay. A repeat of last year's uh -oh. semifinal. But this year, it's the Crimson Tide that get a little upset. And on the other side, I've got TCU and Michigan State. Sparty gets into the dance, but they get beat by the Horned Frogs, and so it's the Horned Frogs in Alabama, and I've got the Tide. Okay. The Tide, ah, oh, SEC like on CBS guy. Yeah, he learns many... quickly, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> get in where you fit in. Listen, I, I like Ohio State uh, in this thing as well. They're, they're my number one seed. I've got them taking on Notre Dame. And once again, I hope I didn't jinx Notre Dame, but I think they're going to be much better than they were a season ago. And then on the other side, i got Georgia and Baylor. I like this Baylor's defense that Phil Bennett has been able to put together over the last couple of years. So I've got in the championship game, it's going to be Ohio State, versus the Baylor Bears. Sick them Bears, but the Bears go down. They will be declawed by the back-to-back -back champ in Ohio State Buckeyes. All right, Buckeyes go for revenge week one with a rash of suspensions as they go to uh, Virginia Tech. But we're going to finish up quickly here. Hit